Animals fight with members of their own species for a variety of reasons. They compete for food, mating partners, and territory. In fact, this kind of fighting helps to provide a social hierarchy which helps the survival of the group. However, the mechanism of how it's decided who is a winner and who is a loser is not well understood. Now, scientists at the Riken Brain Science Institute in Japan have published a paper in Science describing a mechanism that involves a structure deep within the brain called the habenula. This structure is important for terminating a fight, whether it's the winner or the loser. So it turns out that what is important is not brawn, but rather what happens in the brain. Let's go talk to the authors about these research findings. They decided to focus on an animal called the zebrafish, which is actually a common pet. Zebrafish have become popular model animals in neuroscience. It's easy to make genetically modified animals, and they're also transparent. And very importantly for this study, the males like to fight. In previous studies, you looked at the role of the habenula in uh, fear response and adaptive behaviors. What made you decide to focus on uh, fighting? I have been interested in the regulation of fight for a long time, even before I started working on habenula. After I studied about the habenula, we discovered that habenula is once connected with a brain structure called interpeduncular nucleus, and then that structure sends out the axons towards the area of the brain, which controls not only the fear response like freezing mm -hmm. or flight behavior, or even actually fight. So I actually wondered whether the, this, the same circuit may be also involved in the regulation of fight. When you were doing this research, was there anything that was particularly challenging that gave you a very difficult time? Uh, first of all, none except me suspected that Habenia is actually involved in the regulation of fight. So I had to persuade my colleagues, especially postdoc Ming Yi, uh, to work on this subject. So Ming Yi luckily showed interest. That was the most difficult part. <laughs> At the beginning, we don't know the role of the habenula in fighting behavior because nobody mentioned about this circuit is involved in the aggressive behavior. Therefore, we start to study the role of the different part of habenula in the regulation of the fighting behavior. When we put two male fish into the small tank, they first display each other then swim in circle for a while, and start to attack by biting until winner-loser determination. Usually, the fight terminates within 10 minutes. After winner and loser determination, the winner usually swim freely in the upper part of the tank. In contrast, the loser stay quiet at the bottom part. In fish, the habenula can be divided into two parts the dorsal part and the ventral part. The dorsal habenula send the information to the structure called interpeduncular nucleus, while the ventral habenula send the information to the median raphe. The dorsal habenula can be further divided into two parts, the lateral and the medial. They are connecting to the different part of IPN, the lateral to the dorsal, the medial, to the ventral. We found that the lateral circuit is preferentially activated in the winner fish, while the medial circuit is preferentially activated in the loser fish. When the lateral circuit is genetically inactivated, the fish tend to lose. In contrast, when the medial circuit is inactivated, the fish tend to win. We analyzed the fighting feature more carefully and found that the lateral circuit tend to maintain the fight, while the medial circuit tend to terminate the fight. The two circuits with opposite function can regulate the behavior output between fight and flight. 
Uh, could you discuss the social implications of what you're studying here? Mm. I'm quite confident that the same neural circuit plays a similar role in, even in human brain. So this neural circuit should play a significant role in any type of social conflict, even between wife and husband. Mm. So why husband always surrender to the wife? Maybe controlling this neural circuit. Yes, it sounds like a good uh, subject for, for example, for sociology even. Yeah. Or political science maybe could. Yeah. Any conflict has to be uh, seized at some point by uh, the concession of both parties. And uh, so if we actually we know the principle of how we actually make a concession by the blame mechanism, it may also contribute to the solution of some kind of a conflict. What do you plan to do in the future? Do you have future ideas for mm. doing further studies? There may be some kind of a disease state of mind where people feel extremely defeated and don't feel like stand up against the adversity anymore. We are wondering whether that state of mind may be caused by some abnormal functioning of the avenue. It has been very interesting talking to Dr. Okamoto today, and um, I really look forward to seeing what work they do in other animals to see what else we can learn from these kind of studies. Thank you.